Hi everybody! Today I am in Helsinki, the capital city of Finland. They speak their own language here, Finnish. Their native language is Finnish, but I believe most of them can speak English. Well, I will show you the city around and I will talk to some people to find out how well they can speak English. Let's go! Behind me you can see a street market. Finland is famous for its delicious seafood, so I'm going there and try some. Let me enjoy my meal. Some fish, potato, asparagus. Yeah. Hey. Can I ask you a few questions? Okay. Uh, what is your name? My name is Samuel. My name is Julio. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you do? Well, I mostly work as a like forest technician. Uh -huh. So I like, I don't know what it's called in English, but I, I remove trees that I don't want to be there and I leave the good trees. I see. So, so the good trees get more like energy and water, so they grow bigger. And, Interesting. And the forest is better and it, it's worth more money. I see. So we're like a forest ranger or something? <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, I guess. I just use a, like a motor saw and walk around. <laughs> I saw you just before you were exercising. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for my bus. Uh, so I'm just, I have an hour to wait here, so I, I thought I'd train. So. How often do you speak English? Not often. I, don't, I think I'm really bad at speaking English. I don't like speaking English. But I guess I should speak more English. Yeah, I guess like, so. Do you like speak learn. English well? Well, like, I guess you learn from the internet and movies and so on sure. and so forth. So when you watch a movie, do you usually, like say American movie for example, is it uh, in English or it's dubbed in Finnish? No, no, never. I, I, would, I, would, I, I would never be able to watch anything that's dubbed. Uh -huh. I want it to be the original. Yeah, that'd be kind of so, so if I watch a Spanish movie, I want them to speak Spanish. But then I need, of course, text sub subtitles. Sure, subtitles. That's what I always recommend to my students. Never watch a dubbed movie. Yeah, it's yeah. Lame. I think it's really lame. Uh -huh. also, also. And what do you enjoy doing in your free time? Well, I play a lot of guitar cool. and harmonica. And then I, I train with the like gymnastic rings. Uh -huh. I see. And I I cook a lot. I like eating good food. And I read. I guess I guess that's it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. Helsinki is a city with very few cars. Lots of people like renting these bikes. You can ride a bike the whole day, 24 hours, for only 5 euros. Uh, so, what's your name again? Juho Dauska. Oh, that's a difficult name. Juho Dauska. Yeah. Kind of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how have you learned English? Uh, at school and then also, I think, on films or video games and all that stuff. Do you like video games? Uh, no, not anymore, but when I was young. I see. Yeah. And do your friend or relatives speak English too? Yeah, I think all of them speak English. So would you say most people in Finland speak English well? Yeah, or most people like uh, were about the same age as I in Helsinki, I think. But it's, I think it's uh, less common, uh, like my parents and people of their age. But people your age and younger? Yeah, I think most people. I've heard your educational system is one of the best in the world, so I assume the English classes are very good. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, yeah. The teacher, yeah. Yes. It's about, I, don't know, I think it's very much about the pop culture and even increasingly so with the Instagram and all that. You start to use them very young. Are you from Helsinki? Yes. yes. Born here? Yes. And do you often speak English? Quite often because of my profession. By the way, what do you do? I'm a filmmaker, so oh, man. I have yeah, different kind of colleagues abroad. And, uh -huh. So you communicate in English all the time? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's very okay. nice. So have you made any films? Yes, I have. Yeah. What kind of films do you make? Uh, I had this first feature length documentary called Waiting for Barcelona, which we filmed in Barcelona. Uh, it was uh, <coughs> a 
finished one year ago. So yeah, now I think it's other in Lapland. So, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Do you enjoy traveling? Yeah. But of course I try to minimize the situation in the world. So I to, uh, of course because my pro profession I have to travel uh, some, but yeah. maybe I try to travel more in, in that field. Which one would you recommend besides Helsinki? Yeah, I think it depends. If you want kind of similar thing, then it's like Tampere maybe or this kind of city. But I think very fascinating is like near the eastern border, near the Russian border or, or the Lapland. So, well, really nice meeting you. Okay, nice meeting Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, thanks. Take care, have a nice day. Yeah, same Thank to you. you. Bye. Tell me your name. Uh, my name is Elina Lund, and she's Olga. Olga, nice yes. to meet you. <laughs> so, how often do you take her for a walk? Uh, three times a day, about. Is she an active dog? Yes, she is really. She's really cute. Thank you. <laughs> and how have you learned uh, English? Uh, at school, and I have all, uh, and I have been in in Brighton uh, as a language course when I was uh, about 16 or so. So you studied there? Yes, and um, of course I have traveled a lot and so I had to use English when I'm traveling. And do you still speak English with tourists here or not? Yes, often yet? yes. When I'm living in the middle of Helsinki, so often tourists come and ask something about me. And do you have some friends or relatives abroad in other countries? Uh, in Sweden, yes, but not in English-speaking countries. And how do you communicate with this person in Sweden? Uh, in, 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 in Swedish, yes. So you also speak Swedish? Yes, I can. Is Finnish and Swedish similar languages? No, not no, at all. No. Uh, Swedish and English and Ger German are uh, quite alike, mm -hmm. but not Finnish. Is very different than other languages. Which do you think is the most difficult? English, Swedish or maybe Finnish? I think Finnish for um, Foreigner. foreigners, yes. Uh -huh. And how do you say thank you very much in Finnish? Kiitos oikein paljon. Kiitos oikein paljon. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a nice day. Same to you. Job. Is it difficult? Uh, well, I do a lot of babysitting, so I'm, I'm pretty used to it. Yeah, but he's the youngest that I'm with now. He's six months old. All right, that's very young. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you study? I'm going to be a teacher. Excellent. I'm a teacher too. I'm an yeah, English I'm teacher. <laughs> I'm an elementary school teacher. I see. Yeah. And are you from Helsinki? Well, I was born in Espoo, which is pretty close, but um, I lived in Helsinki for do you like it here? Yes. Do you miss home? Uh, no, uh, I think I consider this one. Yeah. And how often do you speak English? Uh, well, I used to work at a hostel last summer, so back then, like every day, but I don't know, sometimes. Not, not every day, not so often. But. Is being able to speak English an important skill, in your yes. opinion? <laughs> for your job or for life. For life. For <laughs> yes. You can communicate right now. Yes. <laughs> do you sometimes speak with tourists here? Yeah, sometimes. Right. Yeah. Or some uh, there's some exchange students in our university. So sometimes well I will let you work. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> So 
So Helsinki has lots of parks. As you can see here, the natural beauty is amazing with rocks, trees in the heart of the city. This is right in the middle of the city. You can enjoy city life and also the peace and quiet of the nature like I'm doing here. And it's a very nice place. I recommend you to visit. Hi, what's your name? Yorma. Yorma. I'm Julio. Nice to meet you. And are you from Helsinki? Where are you from? Helsinki. Helsinki. Uh -huh. Do you like Helsinki? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Do you like the sea? Of course. <laughs> and what about your bike? Do you like riding your bike? No. Every day. No. The weather is very good today. No. Yeah. And what do you do for a living? Do you work right now? No. I like it. Retired. Very old man. I see. How old are you? Uh, 64. 64 years old. Yeah. All right. Really nice to meet you. Have a good day. Kitas, thank you. I loved my time here in Helsinki. I spent two days, it was enough to see everything, the city is not very big. I walked everywhere, I took a boat tour and I talked to people. As you could see, most of them speak English fluently. Those two young guys spoke English very well, that girl, the babysitter, could communicate easily in English. That middle-aged woman had no problems at all to communicate with me and even that 64-year-old man could speak a little, of course it was not very easy for him, but he had the right attitude. He tried to communicate with me and I was glad for that. So if your English is pre-intermediate or intermediate, you're ready to see the world. Go travel, go abroad, see nice cities, communicate with people. If you're not there yet, if your English is elementary or beginner and you want to have classes at my school, English Bay, apply for a free trial lesson here and maybe I will see you around. Take care.